What's good, YouTube? So today we're going to do a little Pokemon video. I have to upload. I'm going to try to start uploading these videos more regularly, but this is the first. So, last night I was in a streamer on Twitch. Uh, definitely go check him out, Beaver Dono. I'll link his Twitch in the description. Um, we had a free for all last night because he does a raffle system, and I won. I watched it one two in a row. So the first battle I got my butt kicked. Second one, I ended up. Well, I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna spoil nothing. But mm, I want to show you guys the legend that is Toxapex. So we're gonna play this video real quick. So remember, slap that like button down below and leave a comment, subscribe. And go check out my Twitch, which will be in the description, and B. Verdono. Go follow him as well. Awesome. So, I'm not, not going to... So, I'm going to try to put some commentary in this as well. So, I let Tapu Koko to set up Electric Surge for my other two mods. And I figured I'd probably get somewhere with this, because this is a free-for-all. So, I can get attacked by the other side, by my partner. He left me. He didn't attack me. Thank goodness. But you'll see in this battle that my... Okay, well, okay. There's the U-turn from Faramosa. And I believe he switches into... Garchomp. I dazzled and gleamed. Because of Faramosa. He made a very bad switch in. And I caught both of them with some serious damage. And that was insane. And then Executor got... Just take it out right then and there. So that was one month now already in the free for all. So I was like, okay, it's going good. Out comes he he was using all executors and a charger bug, but his team was three executors as you saw. Executor protected, which was fine. I U turned Garchomp, and as you could see, I got a critical hit. So I took it down, which was amazing. It got me started, and then I switched it. Because of U-turn, I pulled it out and brought in Raichu. Raichu's item is, well, the ability, if you didn't know, doubles its speed in electric terrain. So its speed was doubled at that point. So I went to pull the Z-move on it. The Stoke Spark Surfer. Well, that didn't happen. Because Beaver used U turn and one shot my Raichu before I could use it. <sighs> I was a little salty. I'm not gonna lie. That's uh, fun, though. Because. <clears throat> now things got serious. He sent out Savali. I bring in my Toxapex after this is turns done. Because I know that Beaver loves, well, first, the electric seed activates, increasing my defenses. That's why it was on the team. <laughs> but anyway, he uses Explosion with Silvalli, and I predicted that, so I went for Baneful Bunker. And, there's the Explosion. Normal Gym Explosion. So, the only thing it took out was Executor and Vicable, and I let I would have lived it regardless, because my defense was up, and this is a max defense Toxapex. So, so this Toxapex didn't take nothing. The other three just lost the Mon for no reason, so I was getting there. And then this Toxapex is a freaking legend. As per the title of this video, gonna be that this is gonna be. This freaking Toxapex can take hits with the Electric Seed. And you will see that very soon. This was stupid. Like, this was insane to me. So, protect the Executor again. He loves to do this. I jump kick into Toxapex, does like 27 damage with the defenses increase.
It's so good. And I scald for the, on the Ferramosa, trying to fish a burn out of it to lower its stats. My terrain vanishes. Oh well, I didn't need the terrain at that point anymore because I was good. My seed already popped. So I'm gonna. I'm just commentating when I should. Just. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this switch. There will be more Yu-Gi-Oh content still. I'm just posting this because I really wanted you guys. I wanted to post this. Like I wanted to show you guys the legend that is Toxapex. This thing is dumb. Okay, here comes an earthquake. Super effective on my Toxapex. Watch its HP bar. No, you can't see that. Go from 102 to 34 because he got a crit. And I picked this turn, I think, to recover. If I remember right. No, I scalded it again to get rid of Faramosa. So, Toxpex just defeated a Faramosa. Yeah. <laughs> that happened. And I predicted Protect, so I went for Recover this turn. To regain health. So this Toxpex was... This Toxapex stall. And he kept protecting and he kept protecting. And Harvest kept triggering, so it was just really hard. Like, I didn't want to switch out because I didn't want to. I didn't want Tapu Koko to get caught by an earthquake. I was scalding, trying. I was fishing for a burn on the Executor. And after a while, you'll see I do finally get the burn. But it took a while. So here comes another EQ. Now watch this. Now this damage. I'm at 99. I go down to 69. I took 30 damage. Super effective. And only took 30. Now here comes the, the my partner's last one, which is a Mudsdale. I thought, oh crap. I'm going to get Earthquake or something. I figure he's going to gun for Executor first. Because he wants to get rid of it. Because it's such a threat. He, okay, opponent EQs, I'm at 69, barring a crit, I go to 39, 30 exact, stamina goes off, increases defense, and he pops a tectonic rage into, uh, Executor, thank goodness he went for Executor, not me, he wanted to get rid of this Executor, because, I think I had one more in the back. So, yeah. So, there's the tech rage. And, boom. It, okay, no, it didn't destroy it. I forgot about that. It did do some damage. And I recovered. Because I was getting low and I didn't want to risk it. So, I brought my HP back up. Harvest finds a citrus berry again. So, it pops another one. So, it's gaining health again. Now, here's where things get a little tricky. So, he protects. And I scalded the Mudsdale. Because it's a FFA. So, I scalded the Mudsdale. <laughs> oh, my God. It was funny. It was so funny. And he heavy slammed into that. Well, when it says I scalded him, the Mudsdale, he retali tried to retaliate by heavy slamming me just to do damage well I bunkered <laughs> so he got poisoned when he hit watch heavy slam into Toxapex and he got poisoned for it <laughs> yeah it was clutch
It was awesome. So I just had to wait two turns and the Mudsdale was done. He dragon hammers. Toxapex missed, avoided it because it got sand attacked. And then he heavy slims the executor, leaving me be, finally. Because <laughs> he knew he messed that up. Trying to get revenge. And I just kept scalding, kept fishing for that burn. Still haven't gotten it. Poison's doing its work. Harvest again. So as you can see, he has one mon left. I was bunkering just to stall the Mudsdale's poison time out because it's going to go down this turn. So I just stalled. And Executor EQ'd, so it's fine. I wouldn't have taken anything, but the Mudsdale went down to the EQ. So that left a Wimp Pod and Executor and Toxapex with me having a Coco in the back. I'm going to skip a few turns ahead so I don't waste your guys' time. Basically, in the coming turns, it's just protect, 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 and then a few attacks here and there. Finally, I get the burn on the executor, which if I can get to that turn, I'll show you that. If the darn thing will load. Why isn't it loading? There it goes. Jeez. Took forever. My apologies for that. But anyway. So yeah. Turns keep going. And I finally just take out the wind pod. It's like, done with it. It's done its job. It's stand attack. This is where I think the burn. <laughs> Excuse me. I think this is where the burn happens right here. Yep. Finally get the burn. So I figure the burn's going to wear him down. So, but it doesn't do a lot of, it doesn't do enough. So, as you can see, he flamethrowered me, I think, trying to burn me back. I recovered just to get some HP out of it. Burn does its damage and puts it into citrus range. So, it recovers health again. I was like, okay. I finally switch out Toxapex, so we're finally nearing the end. Go into Tapu Coco. To end this. Surge goes up. He attempted he attempts to protect, but since I switched it didn't work, so whatever. Burn does its damage. Next turn he protects a it okay, well first harvest activates. And then I will basically let the battle play itself out now. Cause it's pretty much protect. I dazzling. Next turn, dazzling finish me the finishes the battle up. And here's the final attack of the game. Protect. Okay. I lied. There's one more turn. Because this guy was getting lucky with double protects all game. And here's where it fails. Yep. There's the fail. I dazzling gleam. And win the battle. There you go. There you go, guys. A little change for the channel. I apologize that it was 14 minutes long. Hopefully you guys keep are still watching this battle through. Um, yeah. So, so, yeah. Like I said in the start, uh, go check out Beaver Donner's Twitch stream. Uh, link will be in the description. Uh, check out my streams. Same. Well, you know, it'll be in the description. Remember to like, comment, subscribe for more Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! content. I am going to try to do both. And I may do some Call of Duty content here and there. When I get some good clips for my streams. Yep, there will be a live stream tonight at 8 or 9 p.m. Eastern. So definitely come check out. 
Alright, I'm going to end the video off so it doesn't get too long. So, peace out.